Hello, everybody. So we are going to do another little plasticine tutorial here. So we're kind of into the point now where we are sculpting some different faces. Last time we did our angry face. So we're going to just start playing with expressions over the next couple of weeks. We did anger. Today we're going to do happy. So a few things that I want you guys to do with this assignment. I want you to play around with face shape. So I don't want you to, to simply take your old face template and modify this. I want you to try something new. So we're gonna start playing around with different shapes. Um, we're gonna start putting features in different places. I want you just to really explore some character development. By that, I mean just kind of making different looking people. So you can see here, my two faces are very different. This was my original one. This is my angry face from last week. It's kind of long, a little bit thinner. For this week, for my happy face, I went with this much more rounded face. So I'm gonna just play around with some of the features here. And you can see, I, I did the same basic thing I did with my original face template. I just started off with a basic shape. I added uh, some clay to get the cheeks. I added a little bit here to get this tiny little button nose. I added a little bit on for the chin. So I just started off with a plain dome and I just added it the same way I did when I built this face template. So I'm doing the same thing, but I just altered things. So again, instead of making it real oblong, I made it round. I added way more for the cheeks to make them puff up a lot more. I added way less for the nose to give my character that tiny little nose. So just by adding different amounts of clay, adding more or less, you can really alter this face shape for this week, we're gonna just do a very simple happy face. We did angry, figure why not do happy. And again, what I recommend doing is looking at maybe some faces, characters online, uh, or just looking in the mirror. but we all know what a happy face looks like. Now, it's up to you how you want to interpret that happy face. Do you want the mouth open? Do you want the mouth closed? Maybe make a happy face and then look in the mirror and see what your happy face looks like, opposed to looking in the mirror and then turning your face into a happy face. Because a lot of times, when we make faces, it's not exactly what we envision it to be. So if you make the face before you look in the mirror and then look in the mirror, you might be surprised by your expression. Uh, but we are going to just do the same thing this week that we did last week. And we are going to sculpt this face and we are going to give it the desired expression. So. Same thing, what I would do is I would kind of get that template built out first. And then once you have the template, then you can really start worrying about the features. And we all know what happy faces look like. Like I said, you know, you're gonna have a smile. Um, and if your character's smiling, maybe their eyes are squinting a little bit. because that's what happens when we smile. Maybe it's not even a full smile. Maybe it's like a little bit of a half smile like this. But it's up to you. What I really want you to focus on is not only the expression, but once again, that different face shape. Because um, I think that's gonna be really important for doing all of this character design stuff. And the more you can play around with those different face shapes, the more you're gonna really learn how to build that face template really well. 
So if I give him some eyeballs, some crazy looking eyeballs, like this. And again, you can use whatever you have laying around for clay tools. And then again, by using some of this layering that we talked about. Oh. You can have a lot of fun with this. So I think that some reference stuff is really gonna help you for this project. Again, cartoons are a great reference for this because they really exaggerate all of the features. Um, and not only do they exaggerate features, but they exaggerate expressions too. So like when a cartoon is angry, they're gonna really exaggerate everything that's going on in the face. And that's gonna help you really understand how to alter the expression in your clay and what you really need to focus on. So, you know, like I said, when you smile, your eyes tend to squint a little bit. So like things like that. And it doesn't have to be symmetrical here either. You can see I have, he has sort of like this little half smile. So that's going to really cause one eye to squint and maybe not the other one as much. So there's all these little nuances that you want to kind of pay attention to when you are sculpting expressions because expressions really alter the face. So that's kind of like a real quick little happy face here for you. I could put a little bit of an eyelid on this one. But the main thing I really wanted to show you guys this week uh, was just that we can really alter our face template here by doing simple things like starting off with a different shape or adding more or less clay to areas. <laughs> and so two very different faces, um, both of them definitely showing different expressions. Um, and this is kind of what we're looking for. So from week to week, your face should look different, just not only in the way of the expression, but in the actual structure of the face as well. So that it actually looks like you are creating completely different characters. All right. So hopefully this was a little bit helpful for you. I'm excited to see your happy faces. And thank you guys. I'll see you next time.